Hey everyone, Zach from Out There Vans in Grand Junction, Colorado. Today, I wanna to show you something a little bit different than the vans behind me. So as you can see, this is not our usual conversion van hanging around here at the shop at Out There Vans. In front of me here is a 2023 Ford Maverick Tremor off-road pickup. Um, and mounted to that is the Go Fast Campers platform camper topper on the rear of it. Our main focus of this video will be the topper, but I do wanna talk about this platform a little bit. This is a great light duty pickup. Uh, it takes care of what we need to get done here at the shop in terms of uh, pickup truck use. Uh, that Tremor off-road package gives it a slight lift from the factory, a little bit more of an advanced four wheel drive, um, locking rear diff, uh, you know, little things like that, some better approach and departure with the bumpers. Um, overall, it, uh, it really is a nice platform to work off of. Coming back here, this is what we're mainly focusing on. Um, like I mentioned, this is the platform camper from Go Fast Campers. We're going to be featuring this platform on our channel a little bit more from time to time. Ultimately, what we're trying to do with this is we wanna show off some of the other capabilities we're able to do besides just our conversion vans that come through here. We're going to be outfitting this Ford Maverick and Go Fast Camper combination um, with a little bit of an off-grid setup with a house battery system, some solar, some custom lighting on the inside. Add in some of the functionality and kind of the creature comforts that we might see on some of our vans while just keeping it extremely simple and easy to use. Real quick, I'll just walk you through this camper. I'll show you some of the, the main features of it. We'll go into more nitty gritty details in future videos. One of my favorite things about this topper, I'll show you here on the side. I've got two latches, they do lock. Flip this up. I've got side access now. Coming towards the back, I'll undo my rear latches, drop my tailgate, flip this up. And as you can see, I have a functional pickup bed underneath here, which is amazing. Obviously, I can't put anything too tall. I'm gonna say roughly uh, 36, 40 inches, somewhere in there is about the height from the bed um, up to the top there. But super functional pickup bed, load all the gear up in here, or I could retain my uh, under, under bed use here. For some smaller items, same thing over here. Two latches, flip it up. So let's take a look at the bottom here. This is what Go Fast Campers refers to as the space frame construction. Um, it's a super lightweight, all aluminum construction. I'll point out this entire topper, the top section, as well as the lower space frame, um, they, they give us a rough rating of about 250 pounds is what it weighs completely. Um, pretty, pretty darn awesome for this small of a pickup that doesn't have a super huge um, weight rating for that pickup bed. Uh, to drop 250 pounds on it, spread it out a little bit as well. Um, I didn't notice any suspension squat to this, uh, this small pickup. You just can't beat that. As we know, vans take a lot of beating in terms of putting a lot of weight in them. We try to optimize those and make them as lightweight as possible. This is just a game changer. Additionally, this Go Fast Camper is equipped with the optional windows. Um, it's got a front window. That way you can see all the way through with your rear view mirror, as well as this uh, rear window here. As we're looking up at the upper canvas, this color is called Tangerine Dream. Comes in this color or a darker gray, kind of a stone gray. We went with this tangerine color on this rig uh, specifically just because it matched the, uh, the little yellow accents already on this uh, pickup truck uh, quite well. This pop top has three entry doors. It has one on each passenger and driver side as well as one in the rear. These passenger and driver side ones are optional. This rear one is uh, standard. We just figured um, add all the ventilation and entry and exit points possible. And I'll close these up here. As we look at the exterior of this topper, you'll notice it is constructed with T-Track on the lower and upper rails up here. You'll already see I have a variety of accessories attached to those. We're not really gonna talk about those too much in this video. Um, subscribe to see those in future videos. Additionally, I've, there's a 270 degree on and on the back. We'll do a separate review of that. And there's a few ways you can access this upper top. There's a couple aluminum attachments here that a ladder is able to lock into those uh, slots to provide easy 
access to climb up into that topper. My favorite method is a secret to the go fast camper from the outside, if you don't know. And if you look underneath here, this floor is made up of a few different panels. I'm gonna crawl in here and watch this. Just like that, I've removed a few panels and I can enter the upper camper area. So this feature is known as the Transforma floor. There are three panels in this rear section. It's made up of two smaller panels, one and two, as well as a third larger panel that is currently spanning the length on this side that also can be removed to where you can fully stand up in your truck bed and uh, provide you some standing or changing space if you need it. All right, and now inside, this is about 90 inches long in terms of sleeping area, 50 inches wide. Note that this is a really tiny pickup truck. Um, so that's where we run into that standard width of 50 inches. Uh, things like the Tacoma, the Maverick, uh, the Ranger, small and mid-size pickups are gonna have this 50 inch width. Full-size pickups like the Tundra, the F-150, uh, you name it, they actually get a wider sleeping area, 56 inches wide, so a little bit more to work with there. On all these doors in the rear, like I mentioned, we've got three of them, um, two side doors and a rear door. They all have an interior bug net to where then you can fully unzip your exterior doors for uh, entry and exit as well. You can roll all those up. There's a nice little clip on each side if you wish to uh, keep those tucked out of the way. And then last but not least in the back here, there's a couple more windows with a bug net material that you can zip up and down. So as I mentioned, this platform is not our usual camper van by any means. One of our favorite parts about it being the go fast camper is it kind of aligns with the principle that we originally started out um, when we first converted our first conversion van, which was our simple goal of being able to pull into camp and simply turn around, go crawl into bed and not have to set up a whole tent for the night. Just the simplicity of this platform reminds us a lot of what we were trying to get out of van life initially. So now what we want to do is bring some of the comforts of the van life, such as proper ventilation, um, lighting, and the ability to charge electronics, but keep it simple keep it easy um, and uh, enjoy the simplicity of this platform for a little bit. So a few things we have in the works for the GoFast Camper. As we look in the interior of the platform, there's aluminum T-Track on the inside. We are currently in development of a, uh, for one, a light switch that will be able to snap into this T-Track for easy turning on and off of LEDs from up here. Um, additionally, LED light strips that can pop into that uh, that track up there with a light diffusing cover that is specific to fit over go fast campers uh, extrusion sizes more on that here in future videos additionally we'll show you a fan install on the very high top peak of the camper here go fast campers are known for some condensation buildup on the inside we have seen a few aftermarket fan installs uh, but we do want to take it on as uh professional van upfitters who we install countless fans on a regular basis. We'll do a little overview of how we would recommend installing a fan in this platform. Additionally, we will be adding some lighting down in this lower section here. We'll make a video of how we install all the lighting, how we went about doing that, and uh, how you can uh, find our uh, light diffusers here in the future as those start rolling out as well. We'll show a, the installation of a solar array. And then lastly, we'll be installing a lithium house battery under the back seat of this pickup um, that will be able to power all of the accessories back here that we just mentioned. Um, I do see countless builds on uh, the forums, the Facebook pages, you name it, of uh, electronic systems being built into the bed of this pickup. Uh, however, our goal really is to keep this bed as functional as possible because we do want to be able to use this as our shop truck. We want to, you know, use it for small projects here and there. So it's important to be able to haul stuff under there as we want and uh, not take away any more of this small four and a half foot bed that we're starting with here. I've got a couple vans parked behind me, a Transit 148 high roof and a uh, Promaster 136 inch high roof for some size comparison. As this pickup is closed, you can see it's about three or four feet shorter in terms of uh, overall height uh, than the other rigs here. As this thing opens up, it probably sits about a foot taller than the high roof transit over there, uh, two feet higher than that Promaster. Overall, it's a nice small platform. So all that being said, we recommend you hit subscribe down below so you can see more 
of the future projects coming with this GoFast camper platform like that fan install, the whole off-grid power system. Um, we'll talk about the, the 270 degree awning um, and a lot more to go. If you have any questions about this GoFast camper platform or our custom van conversions or even our component installations, um, feel free to write them down in the comment section down below or visit our website outtherevans.com. Pretty soon we will have some of these accessories uh, that we're supporting in the aftermarket for the GoFast camper platform available on shopouttherevans.com if you're watching this in the far out future. I will put links down in the description to our website and we can't wait to show you more of this platform down the road and how it all works. Thanks for watching today.